important to network and you shouldn't wait until you're older to network start doing it early well what I have here is a Ruger Blackhawk in 44 Magnum caliber but what's interesting about it is it's not a super Blackhawk it's a Blackhawk and it's a flat top and the reason why it's a flat top it doesn't have the little wings here in the rear sight and this happens to be a 50th anniversary Blackhawk but also a 50th anniversary of the 44 Magnum from Ruger and so this was done in the year 2006 because the 44 Magnum came about in 1956 some say 1955 but by the time they hit the store shelves it was 56 well this happened to be a part of a two gun matched set 50th anniversary Ruger and the Blackhawk and the 44 Magnum was the same time period so in this two gun set was a 50th anniversary of the Ruger Blackhawk in 357 Magnum caliber also a flat top and then included the second gun of the match set was this 44 Magnum flat top Blackhawk in 44 Magnum and it's got the six and a half inch barrel now we just took this gun to the range yesterday and that's why I kind of thought about this gun we don't shoot this very often because I've got super Blackhawks to shoot when I want to shoot 44 Magnum but when I took this to the range and shot the Skeeter loads with it it shot just absolutely amazing amazingly well in fact it shot so well that I want to do this video on it and it definitely bears shooting more in the future because this gun really likes Skeeter loads and the gun handles very well with Skeeter loads very pleasant to shoot you could shoot all day with this gun and Skeeter loads so the story about this gun is that this gun store that I frequented was owned by this gentleman that uh, didn't have a lot of good reviews so if you look at some of the reviews it's like he was rude and this kind of thing the customers going to the shop and he was rude well I've never found him, him to be rude and in fact in my time in his store that I visited fairly often I bought from him both of my Beretta Stampedes I bought about six Ruger Blackhawks and Super Blackhawks from him I bought uh, three Model 92 rifles made by Rossi from him and also he was very quick to let me know if he had any consignments so there's this one time that he had this model 29 stainless steel that someone had brought into the shop to uh, sell on consignment when I visited the, the shop he'd go ahead and bring that out and I check it out and sure enough it was a pretty good used gun so I bought that one from him and there were a couple other used guns that I bought from him also because he knew that it was a good value used gun that I'd be interested in. and so I had this relationship this networking relationship with him well I actually bought a Ruger 50th anniversary Blackhawk and 357 Magnum from him uh, single is a was a single gun and so he came up to me and said well next time I visit his store he came up and said you know let me show you something so he brought out this box that's back in uh, the uh, greater bay area this presentation box that had foam cutouts for these two guns and there was there were these two Blackhawks and they were match pair and so 
50th anniversary match pair and he wanted to know if I was interested in buying it. And I looked at it and sure enough, you know, a flat top Ruger Blackhawk in 44 Magnum was very intriguing. So I wound up saying, okay, wrap it up, I'll buy it from you. And the funny thing was, we were filling out the paperwork and he's charging me we're doing the paperwork for two guns, but he's charging me for the price of one gun for the match set. And I, I said, this is something wrong about this. Uh, you know, there's a match pair. You're looking at two guns should be double this price. That's what I'm thinking. So I said, I said to him, is, is this right? And he said, yes, it is. Well, it couldn't have been right because no way could you buy two guns for a price of one. It wasn't a sale. You're looking at a commemorative 50th anniversary matched pair. And I'm thinking, well, I mean, I've bought a lot of guns from him and this time he's kind of like giving me a real break on this, on this price. Well, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth, but turned out that shortly after that, he sold the store. And another party came in and bought the store and it might have been that his health was going bad and um, this kind of thing so he was just kind of rewarding me for being a good customer over the time that I've, I've known him and that could very well have been what happened story of a gun well that reminds me of of the time that at the range, there's this friend and fellow shooter named and another very well regarded shooter there for many years, this guy named Larry. And what happened was Larry contracted some real bad disease and he was on his uh, last few months to live and um, turned out that out of the blue one day he just gave this beautiful Thompson Center muzzle loading rifle I mean the the wood was just gorgeous the the bluing was just like mirror you know how Thompson Center does a, a nice job with them with the bluing and the, the wood and it was a muzzle loader but it's just gorgeous it's beautiful I mean you can't get too much more craftsmanship than that that was a, a real gorgeous right just gave it to came with me i was shooting and he said let me show you something and we went out to his truck sure enough he pulls out this thompson center muzzle loader and um and tells me about what happened with larry and shortly after that larry passed away so what happens if you if you network and some of these shooters get the the feeling of wanting to, to give some kind of muzzle loader or a good deal on a, on a handgun or a match set. That's something that's just kind of a byproduct of all that networking that I did for all those times. And that's the story of the gun. And this gun is a great gun. We shot at the range and it 15 yards offhand. The Skeeter loads, it hits pretty close to the X ring. Yeah, I kind of like that target. 15 yards distance, um, that's okay. That's a 10, and that's a 9. So that's uh, 59 points out of 60 with uh, three X's. That's good. That's okay for me. And um, really like this gun. I might shoot this a lot more anyway. Take care. We'll see you in the next video.